Hello, Math 2. This is Unit 5, Lesson 2, talking about uh, trig ratios and solving for unknown lengths in right triangles. So last time we had this table that we constructed with all of our ratios on it for each of our uh, specific angles. So here's a triangle uh, with a side length of 3 down at the bottom. We can see that it has a 50 degree angle down here at the bottom. 40 degrees, of course, at the top because uh, the angles in a triangle have to add up to uh, 180, and we've got the 90, of course, in the corner. Uh, and we want to calculate the value of z, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So um, I'm going to use this 50-degree angle down at the bottom as my reference angle. Um, so that means that the side that I know... Uh, is the adjacent leg, and the side that I want to know is the hypotenuse. So if I thought about the adjacent over hypotenuse ratio for a 50 degree angle, I can look that up on my chart, and for a 50 degree angle, adjacent divided by hypotenuse is 0.643. So if I wanted to put in the values for my triangle, the numerator, the adjacent leg, would be 3. The denominator is the hypotenuse, and that's my unknown value z, and that has to be equal to 0.643. So um, I've got a fraction here, so I'm going to multiply both sides by z. So now I have the equation 3 is equal to 0 0.643 times by z. So if I'm trying to solve for z, I would divide by that decimal coefficient 0.64. Whoops, I put a 2. That's not a 2. 0.643. And I have to divide both sides of my equation by that. So 3 divided by 0.64. 3 is equal to uh, 4.67, and that is the length of the hypotenuse. So we used our table to calculate the length of the hypotenuse. Uh, that's what we're going to be, that process is what we're going to be working on today, solving for sides in right triangles. So we're going to be studying trigonometry. Trigonometry comes from two Greek terms, trigon, which is a uh, triangle or, you know, three sides, so triangle, and metron, which is uh, the, the Greek word for measure. So this is all about uh, measuring triangles. Uh, adjacent leg divided by hypotenuse, opposite leg divided by hypotenuse, opposite leg divided by adjacent leg. We're going to be saying that over and over again. So, um, we're going to give each of those ratios a name so that we don't have to say adjacent leg divided by hypotenuse every single time. Um, we are going to call the adjacent leg over hypotenuse ratio cosine. We are going to call the opposite leg divided by hypotenuse ratio sine. And opposite leg divided by adjacent leg, we are going to call the tangent. So those are the names of those ratios. So Instead of saying for 50 degrees, the adjacent leg divided by hypotenuse ratio is 0.643, we can just say the cosine of 50 degrees is 0.643. Also, our table that we created, I mean, it's a good table, but it's limited to angle multiples of 10. Uh, it turns out that our calculator has this table in its memory along with the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios for all of the other angles as well. So you could test your calculator out. Um, you should be able to find a sine, cosine, and tangent button. So they just use the first three letters of each of those um, names as the button. Um, it's not sin, though. It's sine, cosine, and tangent. So if you type in tangent 50, you will get 1.192, just like our table. 
Um, if you type in the sine of 58.5, your calculator will calculate that and even knows uh, decimal angles as 0 0.85. So we won't have to use this table anymore. We can use our calculators because our calculator has this table uh, programmed into it. Um, fun fact, uh, before they had calculators, they literally would look up all these values uh, in tables. They had pages and pages of tables, um, and it would include all of the angles and all of the, you know, some decimal uh, accuracy as well. So they also had a table to look up square roots and all kinds of other things. So here are our super official sine, cosine, and tangent definitions. The sine of an acute angle theta in a right triangle is the ratio of the opposite leg to the hypotenuse. So sine theta, sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of an acute angle in a, a right triangle is the ratio of the length of the adjacent leg to the hypotenuse. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent of an acute angle in a right triangle is the opposite leg divided by the adjacent leg. So to help us remember this, we say SOKOTOA. So, uh, so the S stands for sine. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So we'll be using SOKOTOA to help us solve these. So before using our table of values, we would think about which ratio we, we had. We would find its value on the table, and then we would solve our equation. So now what we're going to do is a little, is kind of the same, but we're going to first think about our side lengths, just like we were doing. This is adjacent. The one we want to find is the hypotenuse. My angle on this triangle is 56 degrees, which wasn't in our table, so our table wouldn't have helped us. Well, my problem involves adjacent and hypotenuse, so we are going to use a cosine ratio. So the equation setup is going to look like cosine of 56 degrees, because the ratio depends on that angle. It's specific to each angle. So the cosine of 56 degrees, so cosine has adjacent in the numerator and hypotenuse in the denominator. So this is what our equation looks like, and our job is to solve this equation. So we always first multiply both sides by our denominator. So now our equation looks like x cosine 56 is equal to 3. And now we can absolutely divide by this cosine ratio. We can divide both sides by the cosine of 56 degrees. So we get x is equal to 3 over cosine 56 degrees. And you can type that into your calculator just like it's written there. And when you type that in, your calculator will calculate the length of that side, it happens to be 5.36. So this is just um, inputting it into our calculator. Let's try a couple more. So we look at our triangle, we focus on our reference angle 60 degrees. And that helps us decide what our other sides are. This side down here we're going to call the adjacent because it is right next to that focus angle, that reference angle, and this one is the opposite leg. So this problem does not involve the hypotenuse at all. So since it is uh, involving the opposite and adjacent legs, we are going to use the tangent ratio. 
So our equation setup is tangent of our reference angle, 60 degrees. And this is one we could have looked up on our chart because it is one of those multiples of 10, but we're going to use it with our calculator this time. Tangent of 60 degrees equals, well, the tangent ratio puts opposite in the numerator and adjacent in the denominator. So this is going to be x over 4. And we always... To solve these, start by multiplying by the denominator. So we're going to multiply by 4. And in this case, uh, a little bit simpler than our last equation because we already have the x by itself now. x is equal to 4 times the tangent of 60 degrees. So if we input that into our calculator, our calculator tells us that x is equal to 4 root 3. You'll notice that sometimes the calculator will leave the answer in radical form. And that's fine. If you want to put the push the button that looks like this on your calculator, has like the two little arrows right above enter, uh, that will give you the decimal approximation, which in this case is uh, approximately 6.93. So we're going to just uh, set up a couple more just to get the hang of this. Um, this says that the measure of angle C is 60 degrees, or sorry, is 90 degrees. So this is going to be C down here in this corner. Um, and angle B is 12 degrees. So let's put angle B over here. Uh, side AC has a length of 2 centimeters. Well, this must be A then. So our length from A to C is 2 centimeters. And our question is, what is the length of AB? So this side from A to B. Well, thinking about that reference angle, let's see if we can label our two sides. Um, it looks like this one over here is on the opposite side of the triangle from the angle 12 degrees. And then x, the one we're trying to figure out, that is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So our problem involves opposite and hypotenuse. So that will be a sine ratio. So our equation setup is going to be the sine of the angle. So it's the sine of 12 degrees. And our fraction needs the opposite in the numerator, so 2 and hypotenuse in the denominator. And that's the one we don't know that we're trying to figure out. So we always start solving these by multiplying by our denominator. So I multiplied by x. So I have x multiplied by the sine of 12 degrees is equal to 2. And to, to finish solving for x, we now need to divide by the sine of 12 degrees. And we absolutely can divide by a trig ratio like that. So x is equal to 2 over sine 12. Now we can absolutely put that in our calculator now. Use the fraction button, 2 on top, sine 12 on the bottom, and we get x is equal to 9.62. Okay, uh, example three asks us to solve for y. Uh, note, can we even apply right triangle stuff to this triangle? Well, we can because we know that the angles have to add up to 180. So if we take 180 and we subtract 42 and 48, that does in fact leave us with a 90 degree angle right there. So this definitely uh, qualifies for right triangle trigonometry. So we're trying to find uh, the side that is marked Y. Um, just because of personal preference, I'm going to choose this angle right here. I could have chosen 42 as my reference, but I'm going to pick the 48. Um, so this, the side that we're trying to find is the opposite side from my chosen reference angle. The 7 at the bottom is across from the 90 degree angle, so that will be the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. Those are related by the sine ratio. 
So if I set up my equation, it's going to be the sine of my angle, 48 degrees, is equal to, and for sine, it's, it's the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So the numerator is going to be y, and the hypotenuse 7 is going to go in the denominator. So we're solving for y, so we'll times each side by the denominator. And we get 7 times the sine of 48 degrees is equal to y. So we can put that into our calculator. And we get uh, 5.20 is equal to y. Okay, example four, uh, the measure of angle K is 90 degrees. So this is going to be angle K down at the bottom on the left. Angle L is 71 degrees. So this will be L. And M is our third letter. Uh, side LM has a length of 20. What is the length of side KM? Okay, so it looks like we have our reference angle down here. And we have the hypotenuse length is given to us. And this side over here that we're trying to calculate is the opposite side. So uh, opposite and hypotenuse are related by the sine ratio. So our equation is going to look like the sine of 71 degrees is equal to, and for our triangle, uh, opposite is in the numerator, so that's x. 20 is our hypotenuse, and that goes in the denominator. So to solve for x, we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by the denominator 20. So we get 20 times the sine of 71 degrees is equal to x. And we can input that into our calculator. And we get 18.91. So it's almost as long as the hypotenuse, but not quite. OK. Example five, solve for x. So in this triangle, my reference angle is right here, 17 degrees. Uh, the side that we know is the adjacent leg. So it's right next to that 17 degree angle. So it's adjacent. The side we want to know is the hypotenuse. So um, since we have an adjacent and we want a hypotenuse, we are going to use our cosine ratio. So our equation looks like cosine of 17 degrees is equal to, cosine ratio has adjacent in the numerator and hypotenuse in the denominator. So it looks like 10 over x. To solve this, we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by x. So we get x cosine of 17 degrees is equal to 10. And to finish solving for x, we have one more step. We're going to divide both sides of the equation by the cosine of 17. So x is equal to 10 over cosine 17. All right, so we can input that into our calculator. And when we input that into our calculator, we get that x is equal to 10.46. So it's just a little bit longer than that adjacent side. Okay, last one. It says solve triangle KLM. Anytime it says to solve a triangle, it means that we need to know all of the sides and all of the angles. So um, we can start by calculating angle L um, without too much trouble. Uh, angle L, well, this is a right triangle, so we've got a 90-degree angle here. So angle L is just 90 degrees 
minus 24 degrees. And 90 minus 24 gives me 66 degrees. So I'm going to label that on my diagram. All right, so now let's find, let's see, I'm going to use my reference angle 24 degrees here. Let's find um, this side, KL, which is the opposite side from our reference angle. So the, t uh, so the side that we know right here is the adjacent side. So since we have an opposite that we're trying to find and an adjacent that we know, we're going to use a tangent ratio. So the tangent of 24 degrees, it's always the ratio of the angle because our ratios are specific to our angles. The opposite side is KL and the adjacent side is 8. So if I multiply both sides by the denominator, I get that KL is equal to 8 tangent 24. So that's what we're going to put in our calculator. And 8 times the tangent of 24 is 3.56. Sorry, my battery must be getting low. When my battery gets low, my pen doesn't work as well. It starts to slur stuff together. Okay, so we know that this one is 3.56. We have one less last side to find uh, K, sorry, LM, which is in this triangle, the hypotenuse. So we're trying to find the hypotenuse and we know the adjacent. So we're using adjacent to help us find the hypotenuse. Well, adjacent over hypotenuse is the cosine ratio. So we're going to use a cosine now. So the cosine of 24 degrees adjacent goes on top hypotenuse goes on the bottom. That's what we don't know. So we'll just write LM. You could have called it X if you want. So we'll multiply both sides by that denominator. And to solve for LM, we now just need to divide both sides of our equation by the cosine of 24. So LM is equal to, and I can put this into my calculator. Ooh. And the co 8 divided by cosine 24 is equal to 8.76. So I'll add that to my diagram, 8.76. So we have now solved the triangle. We know all of the side lengths and all of the angles. And that is it for lesson 8. Point, sorry, 5.2. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.